Ooh. There's a best before date on you. Whoops. Oh. Okay. I look like a disaster today. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a really, really long time since I posted a video and I know I said that I was going to be more religious about posting and uploading, but I'm not. <laughs> so if you want to see me more often, follow my Instagram in the description. <laughs> Today I just wanted to do a quick art supply haul. I want to show you guys what I got from my favorite art store, um, specifically at this art store and then a few other things that I have from other places. So, this place is called Herbert Evans, it's in four ways, really incredible, they do not sponsor me, please do though, um, they aren't sponsoring me, I just really really love their stuff, and it's really amazing, like they always have discounts on everything, so I just wanted to show you guys a couple of things that I've got for my art stuff, I am now out of my trick, but I'm still trying to keep my art going, because I really enjoy it, and it's, it's a lot of fun. I have a backdrop. <laughs> I don't, it's my mosquito net, but it looks really nice, so that's nice. Alright, so the first thing I want to show you is this, which is acrylic gel. Um, what I do is I paint it over a canvas so that the paint is less likely to like absorb into the canvas, because I find that happens a lot and then it dries faster and it's hard to blend. So this you just paint over before, it's completely clear, and it's just really cool. I used it for my cosplay as well. It's so versatile, it lasts a really, really long time, and it's really cheap. And then I've just got two regular canvases I haven't used, as you can see they're still wrapped. This is a 10 by 14 in Bali Art, 10 by 14 inch, pure cotton, acrylic prime surface, suitable for all mediums, and it's just a canvas. I prefer these because with a regular canvas, I tend to not feel as much support on the front, so when you're painting it feels like it's constantly bending inwards and it just irritates me. And then I got this 14 by 18 inch pure cotton as well in Bali Art Canvas. I'm planning to do some things with these. I will definitely show you guys what I did with them. The next thing I got was um, Conda oil paints. These were the cheapest oil paints that I could find. I think this was about 90 Rand for 12 colors. A really nice color selection and they're not actually that bad. Um, yeah, the pigment is really good. I've never painted with oil paints before, so I wanted to like test out a little set of tubes before I like got heavily involved and spent a whole lot of money. I was tired of my acrylics because they dry so fast that you can't really blend them with anything. So I wanted to try out the oils and see if they are easier to blend. And last of all, I got this A3 Visual Diary. Look at it, it's beautiful. So this was only 70 Rand because you can't peel the sticker off. A boyfriend tried. Shame. Yeah, fun day. It is really amazing though. It's got black paper. It's a 30 sheet black paper. This is just some swatching I was doing. I'm not a good artist, right? Black paper? Freaking amazing! I can't do that on white paper. I don't know what it is. I'm just really, really loving this black paper. I would say everyone should get one of these. And then I wanted to show you guys my pencil collection. These are not from Herbert Evans, but you can get most of them. I think two out of three of these sets are at Herbert Evans, so I just wanted to show you these anyway. These are the Derwent watercolor pencils. I will show you swatches. They are absolutely incredible. They are so well pigmented, and their water, you just brush over it, and it just makes it look incredible. It removes the hassle of watercolor, because I do struggle a lot with like adding too much water or too little water with watercolor. These are amazing. So this is a the set of 12. They are pretty pricey, as Derwent is, but they are incredibly good quality. The next thing I got was from um, Matric. It was because I matriculated. I got this from my parents. It is a 36 set of Colleen pencils. You can't really see the colors. I will also do a swatch on these. The neon colors, which is like this one and, oh my gosh, this one, don't really show up much. Like, they sharpen pretty well with certain sharpeners. Next I got the Cause 36 set. The, this set is really amazing. It has the most incredible colors. These are super, super pigmented. This was 176 Rand for 36 pencils. It's pretty good. So these are really, really great with blending. They are not as good as obviously the Derwent's or, you know, the really pricey pencils, but they are pretty good for the price that we paid for them. All 
the Derwents are numbered, so all of the pencils are universally numbered. So regardless of which set you get, you're going to get Imperial Purple will always be number 23 so that you can collect other ones. The cores, however, are labeled 1 to 36 in this box. My mom has a 48 pack and they are labeled 1 to 48 in that box. So they are all differently numbered depending on what box you get. So you can't really buy different ones depending on what you already have. So welcome to Try Not To Cringe Pencils Thwatching Challenge. I can hear Crank That Frank reeing from here. Excuse me, could you please leave? Tell me! These are the Derwent watercolor pencils. The red didn't come out so well, which is this one over here. But it is more red, actually. The rest of them are pretty pigmented. They're quite soft, so you don't have to color too hard to put color over. But they are really, really great. This is what the Derwents look like when you put water on them. This is just a quick, like, sketch that I did. It's not that great. They blend so well. It is a regular pencil with water over it. See, nothing happens. That is Derwent with water over it. You can see that one as well. These are the Colleen pencils. Also super, super pigmented. Pretty soft as well. They color quite nicely. They don't make any weird lines unless I do that. Quite a weird color variation. You can see like some of the reds look pretty similar and the pinks are pretty close together, but overall pretty, pretty nice. These are the Cores pencils. Um, I did swatch the white, but obviously it's white paper so you can't see it. This was quite a different color variation, like you can see the reds are also pretty similar, but you can see how they change, kind of. I suck at putting pencils together. And let's keep going. Yeah, so there were like three different greys, and you get a nice gold and silver on the end, which is pretty, pretty nice. So these are the oils. Oh my god. That is what they look like. I don't know why the reds come out so underexposed, but it, they are really, really nice. Uh, blacks, blues, yeah, all the regular colours. There's only 12. They are really nice. Like, I'm really happy with them. Thank you so much for watching this video. I am really sorry about not uploading. Not really. I didn't want to give you guys a crappy quality video just to upload on the right day, so I will be uploading more often now, and I will be doing more things with other people. Yay, Christy's being a socialite. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. That's all I really have to say. I don't have a sign out. <laughs>